Hey guys, I have a little theoretical auction demand question here for you. It's uh, pretty short, but let's get started. So a waste contains 300 milligrams per liter of carbon, H2O, and 50 milligrams per liter of NH3N. Calculate the carbonaceous THOD, nit nitrogenous THOD, and total THOD. So first step, is step one we have to balance the equation so if we write out our equation here carbon h2o o2 produces co2 plus h2o so if we look at this we have one carbon, one carbon, two H's, two H's, three O's, three O's. So this is considered balanced. Perfect. So now we can move on to step two. Step two. And that is to find the molecular weight of the compound. So by the compound, I mean find the molecular weight of CH2O because that's what our, that's what we're starting with for the 300 milligrams per liter in the question. So the molecular weight CH2O, and I have a, a periodic table out in front of me right now, so I'm just grabbing these from the table. We have twelve grams per mole plus two one grams per mole. Oh, not bad. Plus one sixteen grams per mole. So this is oxygen, this is H2O, and this is the carbon from the periodic table that I grabbed. We add all we add all that up and we get a total of thirty grams per mole. That's the molecular weight we'll use. So then we go to step three. And that is to calculate the THOD. So let's start with the carbon, THOD. Put a subscript of C just to notify it's carbon. So we know from the question up here, it is 300 milligrams per liter per liter of CH2O and we can see from our chemical formula here and from our molar weight that we calculated that we have three, 30 grams per mole. Now just to match up grams with milligrams, I'm going to change the 30 grams per mole into 30 into 30,000 milligrams per mole. So we're able to use that ratio like so. Milligrams per one mole. And that's of CH2O. Then we can use our chemi chemical formula up here to see that we can change, we can use the molar ratio of one mole of O2, because we're always trying to get to oxygen, is equal to one mole of CH2O. And then to get back to milligrams per liter, we will multiply it by the molar weight of up here, of our oxygen, 32, because O2, 16 plus 16 times 2 is 32 grams per mole, but we'll use it as 
32,000 milligrams per mole. Notice that this one is for CHO2 or 2O, and this one is for oxygen. So these cancel out, CH2Os cancel out, but then our moles, moles, and we end up with a THODC of 320 milligrams per liter. And this is as O2, because that's what we finished with. So we'll highlight that very quickly just to make sure we have that in our file. We'll move down now and we'll calculate the THODN because we need that to find out our total TH N for nitrogen. So we'll go back to step one. We will start with balancing a formula. So we know that NH3 combustion formula is plus 2O2 produces NO3 minus plus H plus plus H2O. Notice how I did this enough that I know there is supposed to be a two there to balance out the oxygens, but let's just, let's just make sure. We have one N on the reactors, one N on the produce. Three hydrogen, three hydrogen, and we have four oxygen, four oxygen. So this would be considered balanced. Perfect. Step two would be calculate the molecular weight. And the question gave this as nitrogen. So we will have the molecular weight of nitrogen. So that will equal 14 grams per mole. And that is of nitrogen. So we'll move up, go to step three, calculate. So we will now calculate the THODN. So the question gave us our first value here, 50 milligrams of NH3N. So 50 milligrams per liter of NH3N. We're able to use the molecular weight of nitrogen, one mole over, the molecular weight of nitrogen is 14 grams per mole, but we're gonna use 14,000 milligrams per mole, just so we're able to relate it to the 50 milligrams. Next, we'll use the molar, um, molar ratio of two moles of O2, because we're always trying to get to oxygen, remember, in relation to one mole of NH3-N. And if anybody's wondering where I am getting these molar ratios, just in case you didn't clue into that yet, I'm getting it from, there is two oxygen molecular here, and there is only one imaginary one mole here. And we can relate them in that way. So then we'll have to multiply by the molecular weight of oxygen. Oh, two, just squeezing that in there. One mole. So milligrams will cancel. Our chemical cancels, our mole cancels our mole cancels, and we end up with milligrams per liter in oxygen again, which is perfect. ODN. And if we calculate that out here, we get 229 milligrams per liter as O2. That is our answer too. And now finally, TH OD is simple because it is equal to TH 
ODN plus THODC. You guys could probably have guessed that. All right, so we now use to get our TH total, THOD, we will get, we use our 320 milligrams per liter plus our 229 milligrams per liter. And that gives us a value of 549 milligrams per liter as O2. And that is our final answer. Thanks for watching, guys.